Live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida, it's the 23rd Annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony, featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 77 schools. We're able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from Lightspeed, the Polk Education Foundation, Camcor, Smiley's Audio Visual, Bomar Trophy Shop, CCC Streaming Media by New Dimension Media, Vista Audio, Men's Warehouse, Horace Mann, Nathan's Men's Store, Victory Church, and ClassLink. Introducing your marshals for this evening, Rebecca Castor from George Jenkins Sr. and Montana Young from Lake Gibson Sr. And now, your hosts for this evening, Ella Boyce from Chain of Lakes, Kayla Hofen from Davenport School of the Arts, Ty Sasser from Davenport School of the Arts, and Kylie Wells from Chain of Lakes. Hello, and welcome again to our 23rd Video Award Ceremony, the largest school event in all of Polk County. Let's give a big round of applause to the 2015 ITV Students of the Year. <laughs> the Students of the Year will be presenting the awards for each category. When it's your turn to announce a winner, please head to the chairs next to the band. Thank you, students, and you may return to your seats, except for the students who will be presenting the awards for Category 10, Best Short Film. You may take your seat over there. How many of you are brand new to video awards this year? Welcome. How many of you are veterans and you've been here before? Welcome back. Next, we would like to introduce our associate superintendent, Ms. Jackie Bird, assistant superintendent of information systems and technology, Dr. Tina Barrios, and senior manager of school technology services, Mrs. Christy Devane. Our escorts this evening are ROTC cadets from Lake Gibson High School. We would also like to welcome the Jazz Band from Southwest Middle School. Their band helps us with the video awards every year. Let's give them a special applause. If we have any administrators, principals, or assistant principals here tonight, please stand up. We thank you on behalf of our students for your support. <laughs> we thank you on behalf of our students for your support of visual media and how important it is for students to learn everyday education with this ITV technology. Teachers, please stand. Thank you for your dedication to excellence and your hard work. Parents, I know you're out there. Thank you for providing them with a nurturing home and the extra time needed to work with our instructional television programs all over Polk County. Finally, if you are a student in our program, stand up because this night is about you. All of your hours writing, planning, and videotaping has paid off tonight. Let's all applaud our students. Tonight, we have some unbelievable videos produced by you. TV stations, universities, and individuals from all over the country judge your videos. 
Each year, a former ITV student returns to inspire us. Presented on the screen is a video of Aaron as a fifth grader from North Lakeland Elementary School. He also attended Lake Gibson Middle and Senior. He was an ITV student for 12 years, beginning as a first grader. Now he continues his education at Georgia Tech, where he received his first degree, Bachelor's of Science in Science, Technology and Culture, and is seeking a second degree, a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration. It is our pleasure to introduce Mr. Aaron Joe. To the Honorable Superintendent, Ms. Leroy, Deputy Superintendent, Mrs. Bird, Dr. Tina Bar Barrios, Assistant Superintendent of Technology, current board members who are present today, to the administrators in the building tonight, and to the ITV family. Good evening. Also to uh, Mr. David Yates, I saw him in attendance earlier. Uh, I just want to let you know uh, that we do play Notre Dame <laughs> next year. So I uh, hope we don't you know, burn any bridges when, uh, when we win. <laughs> <laughs> A special thanks tonight goes to the teachers in the classroom and also the video production teachers. They have invested countless hours in preparing you for this very night. To the dedicated parents who drove to different locations, who stayed up late at night, who helped with costumes and scripts, and to the tech staff that made sure your equipment was working properly, would you please stand up students and give them a round of applause for all their help. It is an honor to speak to you tonight, and I can't go on any further without thanking my, my mom and dad who are sitting up front here today. The ones who disciplined me, inspired me, and motivated me to uphold the Joe name at all times. My love and gratitude is boundless, and I love you both. Personally, I want to thank Mr. Michael Robertson, my elementary school telev television production teacher. He pushed me to give my best, he told me that ordinary wasn't enough. He also told me that one more news clip, one more take would be the absolute best. You, Mr. Robson, were the fire that sparked my passion for video production. To Ms. Wendy Settleberg, my middle school TV production teacher, her gentle but meticulous guidance made our team second to none. She taught me that with the ITV software programs, and also to be an example for my team. She pushed our middle school team to be the best they could be. And lastly, Ms. Laura McNabb. She was my high school television production teacher. She was relentless in making sure that all of our work was factual, creative, and artistic. And she enabled us to garner numerous achievements. She made sure that we put in the time to be the absolute best. I also can recall some days being late to football practice, but it was all worth it. These individuals helped fuel my passion for video production, technology, and journalism. They instilled in me the importance of hard work, teamwork, and most importantly, going the extra mile. I had the pleasure of being a part of the most dominant teams in ITV history. And for your guidance and motivation, I'll be forever grateful. My experience and knowledge from ITV did not stop once I graduated high school. Today, the lessons I learned years ago reside in me daily. This past December, I graduated with my bachelor's in science, technology, and culture from the Georgia Institute of Technology, the premier technology school in the nation, which is ranked as my number seven as the, in the country 
And according to the Business Insider magazine, Georgia Tech is ranked as the smartest institution in the nation. <laughs> right now, I'm pursuing my second degree in business and administration. And this fall, this fall, I plan on starting my master's degree in economics. And none of these things would have been accomplished if it wasn't for the preparation of the Polk County school system. Also, I went to football, I went to Georgia Tech on a football scholarship. However, I was an academic student first, graduating high school with a 4.1 GPA in honors and AP classes. As a redshirt junior on the Georgia Tech football team, by the way, we had a historic season going 11 and three and almost bleak Florida State in the ACC championship. I'll wait for my rematch next year. I was a starting right tackle on the 2014 Orange Bowl champions, which came with a little bling bling. <laughs> if I'm blessed with the opportunity to play in the NFL, I will still use the numerous skills that I acquired through ITV in the future. The skills that transferred to my college success include countless video projects and presentations, which, include, which one included for my business management class, where we discussed the competitive advantage of Apple and how their innovation keeps them above the game. My work with the Georgia Tech Cable Network, where I was an executive producer and started my own weekly show called On the Flats, where I got to sit down and interview student athletes. Also with Barton Executive Search, where I was a research analyst who helped recruit top tier talent into Fortune 500 companies, and also created a women and girls in STEM project for Verizon Wireless and other numerous technology and software projects. And I'm happy to let you know, I just received an internship at Coca-Cola's production studio this summer. The creative force behind every single Coca-Cola commercial and advertisement you see. It feels like just yesterday I was in your shoes, anxiously awaiting the night, hoping that the judges' eyes were in my favor, and hoping that I wouldn't forget my speech when I came on stage. And also, not to leave out anybody who made that day possible but to take time and reflect on the times that brought you back to this night. Everybody's favorite time of the year, the week before all tapes are due to ITV. The perfect time for Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. This inclusion is not limited to recording a segment without any sound, missing equipment, forgetting to charge up the camera on location, media files going offline, and let's not forget, everybody's favorite, forgetting to press the little save button at the top. <laughs> Through these series of unfortunate events can set you back, but how, to you but how you respond to it is what really matters. I call these defining moments where you show character and what you're really made of. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Before I leave, I want to put three points. I want to leave you with three points. Number one, how to deal with adversity. Adversity is an inevitable part, inevitable, inevitable part of life, and overcoming it is essential to becoming successful. What you're experiencing now is preparing you for the life ahead. As it may seem hard, Adversity can actually be a positive thing. There's a saying that every single thing happens for a reason, and whatever does not kill you makes you stronger. That is certainly true for all of us. Think about it. If there was no adversity and no challenges of life, there would be, it would be a pretty boring place. We would not win anything, and we wouldn't know how it feels to reach satisfaction from working hard on something. Many times, I got through tough times, but there was always this little voice in my head that would say, you can't do it. But I simply reminded myself to stay persistent and never give up. Persistence is the foundation of success. And even though there are many ways to describe success, the only way to describe failure is by giving up. So that little voice in my head changed to, you got it, and you can do it. I can recall this football season, this past football season, in our final regular season of the game against the University of Georgia, our in-state rivals. No one gave us a chance to beat them, but I saw it as an opportunity to prove all the doubters wrong. And that's exactly what happened. Me and my team came out with a victory in Athens, Georgia. Secondly, 
Have a passion for what you love. Passion is the energy that keeps us going, keeps us filled with meaning, happiness, and excitement. Passion is a powerful force in accomplishing anything you set your mind to. Passion is what wakes me up every morning. My passion for football and being the best at everything I do fuels me every day. That's why I put in the extra work so I can perfect my craft and get better each and every day. Everyone can settle for being average, but it takes a special person to break out of the molds of mediocrity. I had the same passion for video production when I was in your shoes. I woke up each day with new ideas about the daily shows, new commercials, ideas for music videos, and my favorite was nagging the ITV crew to give me the dates for the summer workshop so I could be ahead of everybody and make sure I shared all of the goods and the riches with my team so we could be ready for the upcoming school year. That's the passion each and every one of us should approach in everything we do, whether it be in the classroom or the studio. Lastly, surround yourself with people who want to achieve the same goals as you. That includes everyone in your crew, from the cameraman to the editor to the anchors. Leaning on them will not only make you strong, but them strong as well. Teamwork surely does make the dream work. Teamwork is extremely important to the success of any team. It's all about working as one cohesive unit and one unified team. Teamwork and unselfishness create the backbone for a great team. This last season, our football team epitomized what teamwork really is about. We were expected to finish fourth in just our division, but currently we're ranked as the number team in the nation preseason rankings. We can create an unbreakable bond, incredible relationships that are still strong today and led to our success. You can have a group of superstars. You can have the best editor in the world, the best cameraman, even the best anchors. But how you work together, that really determines your teamwork. The team working as one cohesive unit is the key to success and in life. In closing, if you can up overcome adversity, have a passion for everything you do, and surround yourself with the people with the same goals and positive energy, your success is infinite. All these are lessons that I required, acquired here during the ITV program. And I hope that you take this everywhere you go and let your light shine and most importantly become role models for not only your school, but your community. As I conclude, I'm reminded of my favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thine own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Thank you for having me tonight. It's been an honor and congratulations to you all. Thank you, Aaron. Take a look at the screen to see all of the state and national awards from our schools, from both elementary and secondary schools. Without good elementary feeder schools, our secondary schools would not be as nearly as good as they are. Congratulations to all of you. It's time to begin our awards this evening. Let's begin with our most improved elementary school program. For this presentation, here's Dr. Tina Berrios. We ask that the winning school come to the stage. Maestro, drum roll, please. and the most improved, Lofman Oaks Elementary.
First of all, I'd like to thank our principal, Ms. Wanda Ponte, who really has supported the program over the last couple years. Um, I'd like to thank the fellow ITV teachers who put in hours and hours and hours extra day, every day to make this happen. Our awesome students, we love you guys. Thanks so much for your hard work. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome Senior Directors of Elementary, Ms. Julie Grice and Mrs. Debbie Henderson. And now, Dr. Tina Berrios would like to award the Student Poster Contest winner. This winning poster is the cover for our ceremony program that you can order tomorrow. And the winner for program cover design, Meredith Smith, Alta Vista Elementary. Congratulations, Alta Vista Elementary. Now we move on to the best part of video awards, the 10 categories. Students will introduce each of the categories from many of our Polk County public schools. Let's see the introduction video for best short film presented by Lofman Oaks Elementary students. Would you say that you love the movies? Would I say I love the movies? Yes. I would say that I love the movies. And so should all of you. Many students work very hard on movies. One had dancers. One had ninjas. One was about Christmas. One's about love. Which one will be the ITV winner? We'll have to wait and see. Let's meet the nominees for Best Short Film and our Students of the Year presenters. Lofman Oaks, The Ninja's Secret. Garner, Twas the Days Before Winter Break. Spessard L. Holland, BYOD. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Short Film, Mr. Austin Rodriguez from Alta Vista Elementary, Mr. Hayden Testerman from Blake Academy, and Mr. Remington Parker from Brigham Academy. And the award goes to... Spencer Have been causing all of this. Well, let's see what we have here. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. Let's try this one. Congratulations! The students of Philip O'Brien are presenting the school promotional video intro. Let's learn and read and write. Our school is the best for math, science, technology, English, the arts, and physical education. Our schools can do it all for you. There are many schools who made videos about why their school is such a great place to learn. In a few moments, let's see who wins the best video for promoting their school. Let's meet the nominees for school promotional video and our Students of the Year presenters. Brittle Academy, business partners bring learning to life. Spessard L. Holland, it's greater to be a gator. Lincoln Avenue Academy, at Lincoln. Cleveland Court, CCE, a great place to be. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best School Promotional Video, Mr. Navante Donovan Banks from Caldwell Elementary, Ms. Isabella Bogle from Chain of Lakes Elementary, and Mr. Andrew Garay from Churchwell Elementary. And the IT award goes to Lincoln Avenue Academy at Lincoln. At Lincoln, I think our students get something different in that we educate the whole child. Whereas some schools are driving curriculum each day, I think that we look at kids both as people and as academics, and we give them the um, tools to kind of grow as not only learners, but people. We give them diverse experiences through our biodiversities, through our specials areas classes, through the IB curriculum. We're looking at them through a different lens and empowering them to become leaders in, the, in their futures. And I think it's more about educating a whole child than just a student. The teachers really know Unfortunately, Lincoln could not be here with us tonight, so I'll be accepting on behalf of Lincoln. Lincoln Academy, that was a great way to promote your school. We are moving on to the best documentary category, and a student from R. Bruce Wagner will introduce documentaries. Documentaries are a good way to provide a factual record or a report. Some of our schools here tonight created videos producing many different facts, such as caring for horses, germs, success, how to use the library, thank you, saying no to drugs and quilt making for a reason. But above all, these documentaries were extraordinary. Thank you. Let's meet the nominees and Students of the Year presenters for Best Documentary. Alta Vista, Hornets to Men, Fifth Grades Rise to Success. Lothman Oaks, Learning Your Library. Southwest, Courage Quilts. Garner, Parent Resource Center. Kathleen, Seven Habits for Success. Spessert L. Holland, Just Say No. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Documentary, Mr. Cooper Ellis from Cleveland Court Elementary, Ms. Kendall Berry from Cumby Elementary, and Ms. Leslie Arredondo from Crystal Lake Elementary. In the 
ITV award goes to Gardner Elementary. Have you noticed this new sign out in front of our school? Or maybe you wondered what is going on behind this door? The sign says it's the Parent Informational Resource Center. But what's that? Hmm, let's go inside and find out. Wow, this place is pretty cool. Look at all the books, materials, and games that they have. I'm here with Mindy Santiago, the Family Involvement Liaison for the Parent Resource Center. Can you tell me what the Parent Resource Center is? The Parent Resource Center is a center that is open to all parents whose students attend a Title I school. Parents are welcome to come to the center and take part in our workshops and also check out materials for their child at home so that they can help them with academic skills. We offer classes and workshops to parents as part of our parent university. And our goal here at the Parent Center is to educate. It's a, great on it's a great honor to be here tonight accepting this award. From the day I started the ITV program, I would never have thought I would be here accepting an award about a show I participated in. I can't wait to move on and continue the process I've started with my life. Thank you to my ITV teacher, Mrs. Cook, for all the help and support since third grade. Thank you students, staff, and parents. Congratulations, Gardner Elementary School. Our introduction to the next award is the Technology Showcase and is being brought to you by Elbert Elementary. Technology Showcase videos began as a way for schools to share how they use technology. They shared all types of technology, BYOD, iPhone, cameras, and computers. I can use my smartphone to research flowers. I can use my iPad to edit movies. And not to mention, all our textbooks are online. Our backpacks are lighter without the books. No matter what technology we use, it's all better for our schools. Soon, we'll see the shiniest technology showcase of all. Thank you. Let's meet the nominees and Students of the Year presenters for Technology Showcase. Dundee Academy. Technology paves the way. Loffman Oaks. Technology Showcase. Elbert. Elbert Technology. Spesser at L. Holland. Wild Adventures in Technology. Brigham Academy. Technology and STEM. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Technology Showcase, Ms. Isabella Van Gundy from Dundee Academy, Mr. Trevor Town from Floral Avenue Elementary, and Ms. Abigail Lynn LaRoche from Garden Grove Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to Spessard L. Hall. <laughs> It's on the move. Let's go get a closer look. Shh, be quiet. We don't want it to run off. These are some of the rare, award-winning robotics teams that took first place for robot design in the Dundee Cup. I've never seen one this close up before. We have found the great circle of technology in this very room. Let's take a look around and see what they're doing. Over here, it looks like they're practicing their keyboarding skills. Oh my Thank you so much for this honor.
congratulations again, Spessard L. Holland. Our next category is our best team announcers. The video intro for best team announcers is from Griffin Elementary. We are a team. We call ourselves team announcers. We collaborate. We finish each other's lines. We help each other write the scripts. And plan all types of reports. There are a lot of you here tonight who announce as teams too. Very soon we get to meet the best announcing team in Polk County. With team announcers, we ask that if you hear your name called, please come to the front of the stage. Okay, let's meet the nominees and Students of the Year presenters. Beckett Rollins and Ariana Awusu, Spesser L. Holland, Sophia Perez and Madison Meyer, Garner, Alana Landau and Isha Sangana, Lofman Oak, Elizabeth Flynn and Valoria Morrison, Philip O'Brien, Kaylin Powell and Ella McDonald, Blake Academy, Charmaine Giron and Shayna Ortiz, Southwest, Sahira Floyd and Adara Branch, Crystal Lake, Ty Sasser and Allison Benzes, Davenport School of the Arts, Natalie Alicia, and Kendall Berry, Cumby, Kylie Anderson and Emma Abdoni, R. Bruce Wagner, Kirsten Campbell and Arden Nicholas, Brigham Academy, Kennedy Hamilton and Gracie Snell, Wendell Watson, Abby Davis and Andrew Pekuski, Cleveland Court. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Announcing Team, Ms. Sophia Perez from Garner Elementary, Mr. Brandon Ives from Griffin Elementary, and Ms. Lisbeth Alba from Horizons Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to Beckett Rollins and Ariana Al Yuso. Time machine. Does it really work? There's only one way to find out. Okay, Gators, today's date is January 5th, 2015. Remember this date, so if we get lost in time, you can come save us. drawing we were talking about. Gators, you have been drawing some awesome pictures in our class. Let's go see them, partners. Oh, what the plank! How far do I walk? I don't know. How long the plank be? Hmm, should we measure it? It sounds like a mad minute. If each step I take Um, I just want to thank my Gene and teacher, Mr. Moyer, my dad for letting me do this, and thank Ariana for being my um, partner doing this, and um, thank you for the awards. Thank you so much, Beckett. I'd like to thank Mr. Moyer, our ITV teacher, our wonderful principal, Ms. Butler, and my loving family. Thank you. Congratulations again to Spessard L. Holland. Our next category intro is all about the best female announcer. And here's a video from Horizons. Okay, here we go with another evening of joy and awards. 
The female solo announcers are probably just giddy with delight to learn if one of them has been nominated as one of the best. All announcers need to have class, which means have good manners, always being prepared for the report, never ever being late, writing a script that will grab the attention of the viewers, and not stop till every bit of the show has been presented. Thank you. Again, we ask that if you hear your name called, please come to the front of the stage. Now hear the nominees and Students of the Year presenters. Ella Boyce, Chain of Lakes. Chelsea Cholou, Blake Academy. Destiny Kempton. Garner, Jasmine Weeks, R. Bruce Wagner, Kamari Carpenter, Tumby, Tristan Campbell, Hoffman Oaks, Leslie Arredondo, Crystal Lake, Valoria Morrison, Philip O'Brien, Taylor Wright, Elbert. Lisbeth Alba, Horizons. Allison Benses, Davenport School of the Arts. Tanisha Ernest, Alta Vista. Emaya Jackson, Southwest. Maddox Evans, Brigham Academy. Allie Johnson, Spencer L. Holland. Josie Heacock, Cleveland Court. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Female Announcer, Mr. Joshua Fernandez from Jesse Keene Elementary and Ms. Kayla Aguilar from Lena Vista Elementary. the best female announcers in the nation. Let's stand and give them a special applause. Now, drum roll please. Who is the judge's best female announcer? The ITV award goes to Philio Bryan Elementary. Hey Lions, Burr. It's cold out here. In fact, it's one of the coldest days of the year. You know what? It's not cold, it's frigid. Frigid means very cold in temperature, like freezing, icy, chilly. It's kind of like being in a refrigerator. I like it when it's cold because I get to wear my winter jacket, scarf, hat, my mittens, and my boots. And you don't get to do that very often in Florida. I'm used to wearing my flip-flops. Even though the sun is out, bundle up and enjoy this frigid weather because warmer temperatures are just around the corner. I'm Valoria with your word of the day. I better get out of here. It's frigid. I'm very honored to accept this award. I would like to thank my parents for bringing me here tonight and dropping me off at school very early in the morning and pick me up every day late. <laughs> and I would also like to thank Ms. Shields and Mr. Coloni for teaching me all my good skills. And once again, I thank you for this amazing award.
congratulations again, Philip O'Brien Elementary. Up next, we have the best male announcers. And here's a video from Dundee Elementary Academy. This just in. 2015 Video Award Ceremony is about to announce the best male announcer. The best announcer should show enthusiasm, speaking with clarity, really connecting with his audience, most definitely smiling, and having that voice. Finally, but not least, good eye contact. Now back to you. Again, if you hear your name called for best male announcer, please come to the front of the stage. Hayden Testerman, Blake Academy. Jafar Curry, Southwest. Austin Rodriguez, Alta Vista. Carter Mays, R. Bruce Wagner. Ryan Fight, Horizons. Remington Parker, Brigham Academy. Ethan McCabe, Spesser L. Holland. Bo Seymour, Cleveland Court. Nathan Hernandez, Laughlin Oak. Joseph Abilas, Wendell Watson. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Male Announcer, Ms. Camille Stevenson from Lofman Oaks Elementary and Ms. Destiny Adi from Oscar J. Pope Elementary. Before you, I proudly present the best male announcers in the nation. Let's stand and give them a special cheer and applause. Drum roll, please. Who is the judge's best male announcer? The ITV award goes to... R. Bruce Ranger Elementary, Carter May. Dude, good work. Okay, these veggies on my watch. Break time. Good morning, Whiskits. I was just watching over this garden, protecting it from crows and other birds. I'm a scarecrow and that's my job. My ancestors have been used for thousands of years. My great, 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 great grandpa stood along the Nile River in ancient Egypt over 3,000 years ago. Some of my other relatives stood guard in Japan to protect their rice fields. Some have even kept birds away from grapevines in ancient Greece. And even in your country, Native Americans place some of my scarecrow relatives down to protect their corn crops. It's a tough job, but someone has to get it done. I better get back up there before those pesky birds come back. I'll see you around in the fields. I'm Scarecrow Carter reporting for WKPN. I thank you so much for letting me get this award tonight, and I'm so glad you all can be here. I would like to thank Ms. Hurst, Ms. Stein, my mom, my dad, and everybody else in the WKPN Wagner Morning Show. <laughs> I, thank you so much. Congratulations, R. Bruce Wagner. It's time for the best music video. The music video is being brought to you by Southwest Elementary School. I got the music in me. Nitter, 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 nitter. Singing and clapping and dancing all around the school. Playing joyful music with musical instruments. Oh, rapping with a beat. Promoting school spirit. Raw, raw, counting and rhyming. Making learning fun. Thank you.
Let's meet the nominees and Students of the Year presenters. Spesser L. Holland, Lunchroom Rules. Lofman Oaks, Math is Awesome. Jesse King, You Can't Hold Me Down. Elbert, Fantasy Fever. Alta Vista, Reading is for Everyone. Chain of Lakes, it's all about that test. Griffin, I'm gonna fly. Southwest, Matter. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Music Video, Ms. Lutnia Bogdanova from Philip O'Brien Elementary and Mr. Pacey Hansen from Arbor Swagner Elementary. And the IT Award goes to Southwest Elementary. Big or small, short or tall. Matter, the core of it all. Everything has it, big or small, short or tall. Matter has mass, it takes up space. Volume is the measure of the space it takes. Weight is the force of gravity's pull. Mass is the matter in an object. Cool. States of matter show how matter can change. Solid, liquid, gas molecules rearrange. Weight relies on gravity no matter where you are. Mass stays the same even if you're in the stars. Matter, the core of it all. Everything has it, big or small, short or tall. Matter, the core. Of it all, everything has it, big or small, short or tall. Density is mass divided by volume, not the volume on your iPod or your phone. Density compares something's weight to its size. To that sink, less rise. Matter. 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 Ma 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 matter, the core of it all, everything has it, big or small, short or tall. Matter, the core of it all, everything has it, big or small, short or tall. so much. We had so much fun filming this music video. Even though some of us got wet. <laughs> we, we would like to thank Mrs. Brenda Matthewson, our amazing rap star and teacher. Thanks to our principal and our teacher for sharing the gift of knowledge. And thanks to our families for always supporting us. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary School. Our next category is for best commercial. The commercial video is being brought to you by Crystal Lake Elementary School. Hmm, it says here that the most expensive commercials air in January during the Super Bowl. Everyone knows that. Well, did you know that some of the most creative commercials produced by elementary students are made right here in Polk County Public Schools? Really? Of course, we have the most talented ITV kids in the nation. The nation? The whole nation? Wow. Thank you. Let's meet the nominees and Students of the Year presenters. Spesser L. Holland, hashtag uniforms. Alta Vista, Books Under the Sea. Horizons, We Need You. Southwest, Don't Read. Lincoln Avenue Academy, Lunchroom PSA. R. Bruce Wagner, Box Tops. Cleveland Court. Building Blocks of Learning. Elbert, AR Shuffle. Purcell, Cupids in the Clinic. Davenport School of the Arts, The Hungry Games. 
Dundee Academy. Jump Rope for Heart. Lofman Oaks. Stranger Danger. Brigham Academy. Purchase your yearbook. Chain of Lakes. The Mission. Cumbie. Festival of Trees. Philip O'Brien. Have you seen my jacket? Sleepy Hill. Yearbook time. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Commercial, Ms. Gracie Snell from Wendell Watson Elementary and Ms. Bethany Ziegler from Sleepy Hill Elementary. This category had three schools score very closely. So this is the part of the evening where we have what we call the People's Choice Award. We will present the three nominees one at a time and share their commercial. Then, after all three commercials have been viewed, you will vote for your choice by texting with your cell phones. If you hear your school called, please come to the front for your commercial. Okay, students of the year, presenters, who has our first commercial? Drum roll, please. And the first nominee is... Lofman Oaks Elementary. secret password. Don't tell anyone your password. It's secret. Shh. Keep yourself safe. Stay away from strangers. Go to an adult you can trust. What's the password? No, no password, no, no rights. Stay safe. Who has the second commercial? And the second nominee goes to... Dundee Academy. Academy is doing a Jump Rope for Heart fundraiser. Hopefully one day that money can help find a surgery for my heart condition. Finally, who has our third commercial for the People's Choice Awards? And don't forget to come to the front. Drum roll, please. And the third, third nominee, nominee is... <laughs> Davenport School of the Arts, Arts Elementary. Elementary.
Today's lunch for District 12 is oven fried chicken with roll, turkey and cheese sandwich, baked beans, green beans, and fresh fruit. Now it is time to vote with your cell phones. Please refer to the screen to text for your favorite elementary commercial. Here we go. And the People's Choice Award for Elementary Commercial <laughs> is Davenport School of the Arts. commercial. Drum roll, please. And the ITV award goes to Lofman Oaks Elementary. My mom, dad, my principal for letting us do this, Mr. and Mrs. DeGraff, the other ITV teachers. We worked really hard on this, so thanks. I thank you again for this award. Congratulations, Lofman Oaks Elementary School. We are now down to our best category of the evening. The big daddy of them all is best daily news show. And Spencer L. Holland has a video about the best daily news show. The daily news show is the highlight in all schools. Every day, students of all ages from all Polk County schools meet to write, research facts, shoot the footage, and create the most beautiful graphics you have ever seen. And finally, they edit everything together. And after all that, they share their daily news shows. Thank you. We will be presenting the best daily news shows differently. If you hear your school name, please send the teacher and one student to the front of the stage. Okay, let's see the nominees and students of the year presenters. Albert. <laughs> Chain of Lake. <laughs> Dundee Academy. Sand Hill. Crystal Lake. Garner. Cleveland Court. R. Bruce Wagner. 
Alta Vista. Brigham Academy. Southwest. Spessert L. Holland. Horizons. Philip O'Brien. Lochman Oak. Wendell Watson. Now presenting the ITV Award for Daily News Show, Ms. Charmaine Giron from Southwest Elementary and Mr. Beckett Rollins from Spessard L. Holland Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the schools with the best daily news shows in the nation. Let's stand and give them a special applause. Our Students of the Year presenters will now reveal who our excellent news shows are. They score between 80 and 89. If you hear your school name, please step up onto the steps. Drum roll, please. Logman Oats Elementary. Yeah! Sand Hill Elementary. <laughs> Phil O'Brien Elementary. Chain of Lakes Elementary. Garner Elementary. Southwest Elementary. Cleveland, Cl Cleveland Court Elementary. Dundee Academy. Brigham Academy. Next, we have the schools with superior news shows who scored 90 points or higher. If you hear your school name, step up to the stage. And the ITV award goes to our Bruce Wagner Elementary. Who has our next superior news show? Horizons Elementary. And one more school will be announced for Superior News Show. Who is it? And the ITV award goes to my school, Spencer L. Hall Elementary. Please take a look at the screen for teachers with 10 or more years of being an instructional television contact. Mrs. Laura Fitzhugh. Mrs. Kelly Wilson. Ms. Diane Boxkowski. Ms. Sherilyn Young. And Mr. Stephen Klupp. Please come to the front to receive your plaque. <laughs> Congratulations again for your service. Great honor to share the elementary TV production teachers, media specialists, network managers, and paraprofessionals who were the teacher or school related employee of the year. It is time to present the David Yates Best in Show Award. First, let's look at the third through fifth top schools points. 
Fifth place is with R. Bruce Wagner with 19 points. Fourth place, Brigham Academy with 20 points. Third place, Southwest Elementary with 27 points. Now, Dr. David Yates, the creator of the Polk County Video Contest, will present the David Yates Best in Show Award. Drum roll, maestro. <laughs> and the 2015 Best in Show at the elementary level is Spessard L. Holland. That's right, Spessard. Thank you, Dr. Yates. We heard Dr. Yates, congratulations again to Spencer L. Holland, and congratulations to the second place winner, Lofman Oaks. thankful for this amazing Dr. award. Now, here are a few words from Dr. Tina Berrios. Thank you guys all for coming. We have um, a few special thank yous for tonight. Um, we'd like to thank all of those that made this possible, Pastor Blackburn and Victory Church for hosting another great year for Polk Video Awards. <laughs> Mr. Ron Powell at Vista Audio for taking the time to record Bob Woods from purchasing the voice of our category nominee introductions. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Kayer and Southwest Middle Jazz Band for their awesome music tonight. Laura McNabb and her art and TV production students at Lake Gibson Senior for building the set design. Lake Gibson Senior's JRTC cadets. The wonderful MCs for their ceremony tonight. Special thanks to the district IST staff who collaboratively put a lot of this work together and most importantly, the ITV staff, Michael Robertson, John Diddle, Kyle Condon, and Justin Phillips for all of their hard work and planning and the effort to put this show together. And last but not least, the parents for bringing them to school on time, for bringing them to the extra pa uh, practices, and for the teachers for their dedication to make this program possible. It's an awesome program for these students. Thank you very much. Don't forget to pick up your certificates before you leave. They're located at the doors. A to M is on that side, and N to Z is on this side of the sanctuary. Please notice the screen for replays of this year's ceremony. Thank you for coming to the 2015 Video Award Ceremony. Have a good night, and We will see you next year. Good, good night! night. Thank <laughs> you.